All right, folks, this brings us now to week 98 of my Never Stop Learning blog. Uh, I'm going to be covering Adobe Illustrator CS6, Type on a Path. I have this logo here, and we're going to be adding Sebastian across the top and Bleak across the bottom. Uh, the way I'm going to get started is by creating a uh, circle with, using my ellipse tool. So I hit the letter L to access my ellipse tool. I'll click once in the center and drag out. Uh, also, while holding down Alt and Shift, that'll make sure I'm, I'm coming from the center and it's going to be a perfect circle. So once I think I got the right size, I'll release, hit the letter V to get my selection tool, and then I come up to the top and horizontal align the center, then I'll come over to the right a little bit and vertical align center. That's going to make sure that uh, this path is perfectly centered on my artboard. Next I need to split this guy in half, and for me the quickest way to do it is by cutting it in half. I'll cut it by hitting the letter C, that gives me my scissor tool, I'll click once on this anchor point, and I'll click once on this anchor point, and now my path is split in half. I have two open paths where I started off with one closed path. So next I'm going to hit the letter T to get out my type tool, and I'll click here and start typing. Uh, Sebastian, control and enter to accept that. All right, if you look at these squares right here, that's kind of like the margins for the text. This one's at the end of the path, and this one is not. So I'm going to hover over it till I get that arrow pointing to the right. I'll click and drag all the way to the end. Next, I'm going to center justify my uh, text. And then it's upside down now, so i got to click and drag on this handle. And now it's right side up. That looks good. You'll see the whole process again on this bottom piece. I have the bottom path selected. I hit the letter T to access my type tool. I'll click here in the center one time. Type in the word bleak. Control enter to accept that. And here's the margins again. This one is at the edge. This one's at the center of the path. So once I have the little arrow pointing to the right, I'll click and drag this all the way to the edge. And now Bleak and Sebastian are center justified on my artboard. I need to select every, uh, everything on my artboard. So most people will tell you to hit Control A. But if you have any notes or other assets off your artboard, those will be selected as well. So to deselect everything, you hit Control Shift A. And then if you just want to select the stuff that's on your artboard, hit Control alt a and that will only target the things that are on your artboard. So hit Control 0 to zoom into your uh, artboard 100%. And now that I have both these guys selected, I want to change the font. So I'll click right here and type in Micrograma. That's the font I want to use. And if you notice, I typed everything in lowercase. I want it to be uppercase. So I'll click right here on Type bring down change case and then uppercase now both of my uh, paths have text on them that are in uppercase uh, the text looks kinda small to me so I hit control shift greater than a couple times and that'll give me a better uh, bigger font and if you notice all my text is aligned uh, using the base point of my text to the path I want to change that alignment uh, and I can do that to both of these paths at the same time I'll come over here to my type tool I mean to the type panel, hit uh, type on the path, type on the path options, preview to see what I'm doing. I see right here it says align to path baseline. I want to change that to say align to path center. Once I do that, you see it's going right along the center of my text. I'll hit OK to accept that. Next, I want to spread it out a little bit more, so I'll hit Alt and to the right. Uh, the right arrow key uh, spreads out the tracking for me. It looks like the font could be a little bit bigger, so I'm going to hit Control Shift greater than. That looks great. So let me deselect by hitting Control Shift A. Sebastian looks good, but Bleak looks like it uh, use a little bit more work. So let me click on Bleak, and then uh, I'm gonna hit Control T, and that brings up my character panel. And what I need to do is see some options that aren't available to me yet. So I'll bring this pull down, show options, and I want to change this horizontal scale. Shift up a couple times. Hit Enter to accept it. Control T to get rid of that. Control shift A to deselect and there you have it so let me hit the letter F key a couple times to get rid of the interface and I'll hit control 0 to fill up the whole area and there you have it it's a uh, type on a path uh, in Adobe Illustrator CS6 uh, this video is for my never stop learning blog week 98 uh, you want to read more about it just go there you could go to SebastianBleak.com and on the top you see a link that says artwork click on that and it'll take you right to it thanks